Hey guys, it's Rob from the UK, it's 26 Bond. And today is gonna to be a little update on some of my Kiss collection uh, on vinyl today. Uh, even though I did actually pick up um, uh, Kiss Live at the Ritz, which is a discontinued CD recording of Kiss's warm-up show for the Donington appearance in 88, recorded in New York City at the Ritz Club. Um, it was like an FM, FM radio broadcast, broadcast around the New York area on WNEW radio station. So uh, listen to that in the car on the way back from work today. So uh, it is coming out funnily enough on uh, vinyl too. On back on black records, two different pressings. I think grey and red vinyl. Both pressings have a slightly different coloured sleeve to them. So, uh, but today we're going to be talking about uh, classic Kiss vinyl. Here we go. This one is an original 1977 uh, pressing of Rock and Roll Over. And the original pressing of this came with a couple of nice goodies. Firstly, the inner sleeve has a nice uh, Kiss graphic on it. This is the, uh, the uh, Casablanca record label, MBLP 7037 is the catalogue number and uh, the goodies that came in this one was firstly this this is the sticker which is a replica of the album cover uh, it's not one sticker it comes in segments you can peel it off uh, and use various parts of it if you don't want to use the whole thing or we have and also the second one was the uh, Kiss Army paraphernalia merchandise form. So you could join up to the Kiss Army and order lots of lovely yellow t-shirts and belt buckles. Which uh, in those days a Kiss belt buckle would go for about five dollars which is about three pounds fifty in British pounds. Uh, nowadays some of them sell for over a hundred pounds each which is more like uh, $140 so uh, if you'd uh, hoarded a lot of those and they're still in your collection uh, and you don't want them anymore it now might be the time to sell but this is a classic Kiss album this is Rock and Roll Over uh, produced by Jimi Hendrix producer uh, Eddie Kramer um, it's got a very street sound to it it was recorded live at the Star Theatre um, I think Peter Chris recorded his drum parts in a toilet uh, so it does sound very, very live. There's some great tracks on here. Uh, Making Love, Take Me, uh, Mr. Speed and Ladies Room being my favourites. So there you go. This was Kiss's oh, one, two, sixth studio album. Yeah, this was after, after Destroyer and prior to Love Gun. So this was Kiss trying to get back to basics after 1976's Destroyer when they worked with Bob Ezrin and produced an album which is sonically very good but a lot of hardcore Kiss fans thought it was a little bit too different for, for Kiss. It wasn't quite as raucous uh, but this one definitely harks back to Kiss at their more street sound and it's a very good album at that. Um, also a later album in Kiss's career that harked back to when Kiss had a more street sound is this one. This is Revenge um, and strangely enough this is with Bob Ezrin who produced this album. This was the first album that Kiss made after Eric Carr sadly passed away in 1991 on the same day that Freddie Mercury died as well, uh, 24th of November 1991. Um, so this is the first album to feature uh, the first blonde member of Kiss, Eric Singer. Uh, this is a UK original pressing. Got the inner sleeve. Here we go. Lyrics and it's on the Mercury red label. Um, I actually got this on release date for my birth, well actually, was it release date? I, I think it was May 1992 this one came out. And my birthday was the 19th of May, so uh, I got it pretty soon after its release date. Um, and it's a very good album, uh, famous for its God Gave Rock and Roll To You track, uh, which features harmony vocals from Eric Carr, uh, Unholy, uh, paralysed, 
Tough Love. So it's generally a harder record for Kiss. A bit more guitar on this one. So uh, very, very well worth picking it up. And this was the, the first album in a long while that Gene Simmons had the lead single uh, off it, which was Unholy. Um, so the band did change their image quite a lot on this one. Uh, a lot more leather, um, harking back to their earlier days. And no sequence. Uh, this is uh, Mid Period Kiss. This is a great record. This is, uh, that's the booklet, funny enough. This is a Japanese pressing of the compilation Kiss Killers, released in 1982, uh, featuring four new tracks I'm a Legend Tonight, Down on Your Knees, Nowhere to Run, and Partner in Crime. Now, various versions of these have various different track listings. This one has got Escape from the Island and Shandy which is not on any of the other pressings. Um, like I said, this one comes with a booklet. Sadly, it didn't come with the Obi. Uh, this is the booklet. That's the rear. Very nice, eight page special. Nice pictures of Eric Carr and Gene Simmons. Then Paul Stanley and Ace Frehley. There. So, quite hard to find with the booklet. Certainly with the booklet in this good condition. Um, inside the record and a lyric insert sheet just there. It's a good compilation. It's probably my favorite compilation because I'm quite a big fan of the four new tracks. Um, this was obviously, they, these songs were recorded uh, for the follow up to The Elder, which was a commercially a bit of a bomb for the band. The Elder was their concept record. They worked with people such as Bob Ezrin again and Lou Reed to create some sort of soundtrack to a movie that, that was never made. So this, uh, these four songs on here were part of the sessions for, an, for a, um, a uh, LP after The Elder, which I think was tentatively titled Rocking With The Boys, which was never released. This was this, the, those songs ended up being added to this album, which of course was the stopgap between the Elder and Creatures of the Night, which which continues the tradition of being a little heavier uh, than the Elder, more along the lines of these four new tracks here. So this is an excellent compilation. It's one of my favourite Kiss records, actually. In fact, it's one of my favourite Kiss covers, um, even though the band's image at that point was a little bit derided because they had the short hair and everything. I actually think it's great. Um, Bootlegs. I got some more bootlegs. This is Kiss uh, on the Animalized tour. This is uh, recorded in. Oh God, where is this one recorded? I'm just trying to think. This is this is a, a Canadian bootleg on, on the Cosmos Stiletto. Uh, I th do you know? I think this one. It doesn't, it doesn't tell me where this one's recorded. I thought it did. That's strange. But it's, it's quite a good. I think it's Houston. Yeah, here we go. Houston, Texas, 31st of August, 1985. Uh, so this one is basically the Animalized Live Uncensored tour. Uncensored. Um, it's got some quite funny rap, uh, raps or, or in-between song banter from Paul Stanley. So uh, this one did come on pink vinyl, but I got the uh, black vinyl. And as I say, this one's on Cosmos Stiletto. Uh, if you're after bootleg LPs of Kiss, most of them come from the Animalized tour. There's a huge number, and they all generally sound quite good. So there we go. Some of the new re-releases uh, from the Back to the 70s era. This is Takes Tokyo Part 1. This is on white vinyl. The only thing with these is the uh, covers are very, very pixelated. <coughs> Side ones at the Budokan, April the 1st, 77. Second half of this is LA Forum. Uh, 28th of August 1977. Now, incidentally, part one of that is the rest of the Budokan show from April the 1st. And these are all numbered. There you go, there's that one. Uh, the next one called Living the Dream this is, is a newer bootleg. Uh, this is on colored vinyl, it's on clear vinyl. This one, this is Lafayette's in Memphis, Tennessee, 18th of April 1974. So coming up for 40 years ago, this, this particular show, um, there we go. Nice design on the back. 
Another one of these back to the 70s ones. This is a compilation record of live tracks, really, uh, from Rockford, Illinois, Ladies in Waiting, 75, Watching You, Jersey Stadium, Roosevelt Stadium, Jersey. Uh, there you go. So that's one you can probably skip. This one's on blue vinyl. Uh, they do do them on picture discs as well. Here we go. Uh, these have got quite nice uh, graphics. So this one is Blitz London. So Kiss's first appearance at Hammersmith Odeon, where they were supported by Stray. This is London, 16th of May, 76. A very early bootleg, this one. This is East Lansing, the brewery. Uh, October the 21st, 1974, on the Hotter Than Hell tour. And this one, I believe, is on yellow marble vinyl. Look at that. Woohoo! Awesome stuff. This is a very early bootleg. One of the originals. This is Light Years Ahead, Long Beach, Michigan Palace. Uh, sorry, Long Beach Arena, 1974. Uh, one track recorded at Michigan Palace, which is Cold Gin. So, very early show and a very early bootleg um, that was made, I think, in around about the late, or sorry, early 80s. This was quite hard to get hold of. There we go. Light Years Ahead. Now we have Kamikaze Kissing at Budokan. This is Kiss's televised SNK performance on the 22nd of April, 88, deep fried in Budokan, Japan. And there's some tears. One of the newer bootlegs, this is live at the Beacon Theatre, March the 21st, 1975. Beautiful laminated sleeve on this one. And you get lots of great extras with this as it comes with a rather nice poster which was taken, which is a shot, which was taken backstage prior to the concert taking place. There you go. Hello. So that's a really nice uh, extra. And I think the company that make these um, particular bootlegs uh, have raised a couple more. There's one of Eric Carr's first show in New York City in 1980 at the Palladium, which I want to get my hands on, uh, and so on. So there you go. That's uh, the Beacon Theatre, 1975. Another 80s bootleg. This is Walking Around the World, recorded live in Chicago, 17th of January, 86. It's a double album. Uh, I used to get to know all these bootleg albums from the book Still on Fire, which is one of my favourite kids' books. And these are all pictured in there. So whenever I see one of these, I get quite excited. Live at the Gourmont. 1984, once again a double album on the Animalized tour with an interview with Tommy Vance. No, there's an interview with some guy off the Tommy Vance rock show on side two. This is 1974, October the 18th, uh, Hammond, Indiana, number 224 of 500. This is called 1974, and this is on green vinyl. Nice recording that one. And the last one to show you today is this one, even weirder than we are. Rockford, Illinois, in the last day of 82. This is New Year's Eve, 82, on the Creatures Tour. Beautiful package, this one. Great gatefold. Reasonable sound quality. And coloured vinyl. This is double green vinyl, I think, this one. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. This one actually comes with the labels unattached. So uh, you can decide what uh, what combination of band members you want on side one, side two, and side three, and side four. So another great bootleg with Vinnie Vincent and the really nice foil Kiss logo there. So there you go, some of the new stuff from my collection, guys. Hope you've enjoyed watching the video. Leave some comments below. If you haven't subscribed as well, feel free to, because it's not all Kiss on this channel. There's lots of regular metal, Iron Maiden, and Death Thrash metal as well. So if you like what you see, Please subscribe, send me a message. All the best. Cheers.